Bro in the morning, Rosenberg and Laura Styles and my friend, like my real, real friend, Mitchell Jackson, author, professor, and now you have a documentary? Yeah, yeah. And now a documentary filmmaker is on the program. Rosenberg, Amazing. you don't look interested at all. I'm interested. I'm interested in Jason. I'm just like yes, the audience yes, out yes. there saying, "Who's right Ebro's friend?" This is my friend. So we're giving my Welcome. friend some 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 showtime today. Showtime. Um, now you are a uh, convicted felon. Thanks you all right. for leading with that. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, I want to paint the whole picture, guys. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Paint the whole picture. Now, if it was his brother, if Wesley was here, yes, you would want to hit the door. Okay. But Wesley's not here, so you're good. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> you know the story I told y'all about the barbecue in the backyard when my boy's friend's brother showed up and slammed the guns on the thing in the middle of the barbecue? Yes, I remember I, this. That's I remember his this. brother. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, he sounds fun. Yeah. He's a great guy. Right. Great guy. <laughs> Until. Just un- know. Just know. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, Mitch uh, got caught up in some things as a, as a young teenager, mm-hmm. served some time, but then went on to become a professor, mm-hmm. have a master's degree, write books and things like that. So he's he's the walking uh, 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 real life story of turning your life around, right? Yeah. yeah um, and you wrote a book about it. Yeah, which I wrote is, a book about which it, which is a bestseller. It's a uh, it's bestseller some places, not New York Times, not New York. Just Times. go with it. What I, yeah, yeah, we're going around. Would you say go would you say it. it's bestseller or Jace? <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect way exactly. to put it. Bestseller Jays. But there you went New, uh, the New York Times gave you some award. Yeah, no, that was uh, it's called a Whiting Award. What's the New York mean? Times ran it. It's, they pick ten writers every year, um, and they give them fifty grand just for like being, I guess, um, people that they think have promise. So what's what's really good about the award is that a lot of like former Pulitzer winners, Nobel winners have won that award. So it puts you in a really good so you're family on your path. of writers. You're on your path. Well, wow, yeah. that's awesome. How long have you been? Uh... Well, how long? For, let's get, can we get a little bit about the story, like how you said <laughs> well, he was what, down tell the wrong what the book's path. About. Yeah. That's what the book is about. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, yeah. tell yeah. us how you started on the wrong path and got to where you are right now. Okay. So, the book is called The Residue Years. And um, I started writing it while I was locked up just because I didn't uh, want to be wasting the last few months of my time. So, I wasn't, I didn't really imagine myself to be a writer, but I was like, okay, let me do something constructive because I was already in college when I got caught. So, then when I got out, I had those pages and I kind of put them aside. Um, and then I found out that my um, the school that I got my bachelor's from was opening a master's program or starting a master's program. And I was like, damn, it'd be cool to have a master's. Not like I want to be a writer, but damn, it'd be good to be like in the hood and telling people, yo, I got a master's. He just wanted to meet girls. He just did it for cool boys? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what got me in there. <laughs> I got a master's. Dude. Yeah. So. Yeah. So then I, um, once I got in there, I discovered that it was something that I really liked and that I was good at. And that really got started probably around. 2001. So it took a long, long time, even before the book came out. And it's been a couple of years since that's come out. And so now you've been touring with the book, um, working yeah. really hard. You get this Whiting Award, and now you're about to turn this book into a documentary. No, it's in the documentary. It's already in. Yeah, it's yeah. It's done. Yeah, it's, wow. it's showing today. It's, it's on the site called um, Lit Hub. And it, last year, I took it to some festivals, and um, it was really good. I, I, pre, I premiered it at home, and the mayor sat in and introduced it. So it was really good, because, I mean, it's really about my city. Um, and not a lot of people talk about Portland, Oregon, at least the Portland, Oregon that you and I know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's that not was Portlandia. Really, it's definitely not, not Portlandia. Portlandia. No. <laughs> Although have, I'm sure you still appreciate Portlandia as well. I have never seen Portlandia. It's good. It's good. Congratulations. It's, it's damn funny. You played yourself. And they actually go see a black family <laughs> in Northeast Portland <laughs> in in the show. And yeah, you're like, you got and it. It's you, like Northeast Portland and there's this one black family in this one couple of episodes. I can't, imagine okay. that even, I can't imagine <laughs> that anyone who's even from a totally different background in Portland hasn't seen the kind of people that they're making fun of in Portland. They I've seen them. I've definitely seen right. You'd appreciate. You'd enjoy. But they, they get it. They get it perfect in the, yeah. in the TV. Okay, so maybe I check out an episode. So you premiered it at home. Yeah. And now it'll be tonight on Lit Hub. Yes. Yeah, so it, it went up this morning. L i t h u b. L i t h u b. Yep. Okay. Dot com. Yeah. Um. So I wanted you to come up because a I wanted to make sure you got the proper support on this. B. Um. I we don't even get to hang out anymore, man. Know, you got man. nine kids. I got one. <laughs> You're nine. <laughs> He's exaggerating. Did I ever tell you about my friend? Three? Did I ever tell you about my <laughs> friend who had a Here son and we didn't find out he had a son until the boy was like five years old? And is, it, from come on, man. Stop friend. exaggerating. Man. How old was he when we found out you he had a son? He was like one. No, nah, you're exaggerating. No, you brought him to the barbecue. Well, he was walking and chilling. He was like three. I didn't find out about Izzy till I came up to the station. That's not true. That's po- absolutely true. That's not true. true. That's yeah. not so true. y'all are also friends of Jace. I'm, I'm figuring this whole thing out. <laughs> Let me. Uh, <laughs> We know each other. We just don't tell each other about having kids. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah. You knew. You knew. You knew. I'm I had telling a baby you, man. The last time we I was came up about here, it on the email. No, yes. After I came up here, I was like, "Yo, fam, what's okay, happening?" Okay. When was the last time you saw Ebro? 
Um, Before this, when? The this Russ's trip. barbecue, right? No, it was the baby. It was the baby's birthday. Oh, the baby's birthday. Yeah. Izzy's birthday. I was there. You was catering. There. You were catering. Yeah, I remember. That was bartending. Yes, that's right. You no, were bartending. You Rosie was bartending. You weren't doing shit. She started off. I was I making I was margaritas. There early. You wanted the good margaritas? You came to me. <laughs> this is true. So it's been damn near almost a year. Izzy's about to turn two in August. Are you serious? I ain't seen you that yeah. long. Nah. But that's what being a parent is. Man. Tell me about and it. And his kids are strolling all over. He got to travel to Atlanta. <laughs> he got to travel to Jersey. I mean, nine yeah. kids, yeah. that's a lot. Portland. <laughs> well, listen, Two once kids, he had that man, master's Jersey degree, these ladies wouldn't stop. That's they right. wanted to have smart kids. You backfired on me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that what backfired? Yeah, no. Nah, Is that really what Something wasn't backfiring. No, that wasn't it. That Something really? was firing just right because <laughs> it fired off correctly many times. Uh, residue Years, the documentary, uh, the book. Make sure you go to lithub.com. Is there anything else we need to let the people know before we let you out of here? Um, no, that's it. Read books. Shit. That's what it is. Go read the book. How expensive is NYU? It's Man, the... I just looked yesterday, dog. Because you're it's a professor. $75,000 for room and board. They have some programs where you could spend 103 thousand dollars a year a year so nice. i'm like you would be how a much quarter do they pay of a million you? Yeah, about to how say, much they pay you Ooh, man we can't get in there we actually in negotiations right now <laughs> we can't well, talk they better about do it that right. off the record Cash so, but, but the programs that you that you teach at nyu mm -hmm. are specifically for writers and people who i wanna... teach writing i teach in a in one i teach in two colleges one is ls so i teach writing there and then the other one is what's uh, ls mean liberal studies yeah. and then the other one is school of professional studies and i teach normally creative writing over there but sometimes writing as well and they know about your background um they do now they <laughs> did not know when i first got hired they but, don't do like a, a background check now that's the good thing about being a professor is you just fill out your you just don't show them your cv wow which yeah. stands for uh curriculum vitae it's like a long resume Mm. Oh, and you made sure yours was extra long and didn't have certain information. I, you don't put that ain't on there. That ain't on there. So what happened when they found out about your background in the book? Um, and they just don't really mention it to me. Because which you're is fine. Because your accomplishments. Right. So on I campus. waited till the book came out before I mentioned anything about it because I knew someone was going to mention it when it came out. So I was right, like, right, okay, right. this will be the best timing for this, not when I don't matter to the institution. Yo, my friends. Okay, so they're not out, they're man. not against you talking about it. Um, As a they teacher, haven't when... mentioned anything to me. I hope not. So you not. can just be completely honest about who who you are, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking <laughs> about like so damn near twenty years ago, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If they hold that against me, like that's foul. Right, right, right. I mean, but you never crazy know. Crazy, it happens. Happen. Yeah. yeah. What do the students say? Um, man, when they find out, they're like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "Yeah, this is." But look, get your work done. It's serious in here. We ain't talking about that right now. We are talking about this. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, absolutely. They're joking. <laughs> Serious business. You paying $80,000 to go here. Don't you want a good education? Yeah. For sure. Real talk. Mitchell S. Jackson, look him up. Um, is there anything else you guys want to ask? Well, I got to admit, the reason I looked a little disinterested when he walked in is, is I, I looked at the calendar. I thought Michael Jackson was coming. In. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I was like, man, no one's even making a big deal about this. He's back from the dead and he's coming here. And then it's just your boy Mitchell. But any documentary yeah. sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, appreciate Yo, it. Yo, man, thanks, man. Right Good on. See you.